Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Dahlia and today we are going villager hunting again. If you saw my last video, we did a villager hunt and we managed to find Callie and only 14 tickets. She is one of the villagers that I want for this island so I'm extremely excited that we found her and now we officially have two stars on this island so we, we need more villagers that's what Isabella is telling me that we need to do in order to get to three stars so that is what we're doing today I love these types of villager hunts in particular because we're going to be doing a 30 ticket challenge so if you haven't seen any of my ticket challenges before the way that it works is that I have exactly 30 tickets to find a villager to take home and if I don't find a villager in those 30 tickets I am gonna have to let the plot autofill I don't want it to autofill. So we are gonna find a villager today. Hopefully we'll find a dreamy. I will post the list of the villagers that I want for this island right here. If you didn't know, this island is gonna be a sleepy spring village. So I have particular villagers in mind that'll fit that theme. My color scheme is gonna be like very um, blue, yellow, green, and I'm hoping to find villagers that kind of have that color scheme going on too. Um, so yeah, those are the villagers we're hoping to find. If I don't find one of them, the only other villagers I'd be willing to take are a Cranky or a Snooty if I find one that I like because I don't have those villager types on my island. So we're on island number one. I see some pink and we got Nana as our first villager. I saw her... Did I see her in my last villager hunt? I don't think we did, but I did see her when I was hunting for my starter three. I like her enough, but we don't need her on our island, so I will see you guys on island number two. All right, island number two. Let's see who we got. Who's here? Who's hanging out? Oh, it's um Pashmina, I think. Let's go say hi. We're not gonna take her, but let's go say hi. She is very cute. Hi, Pashmina. She is very, very cute. All right, island number three. Who do we got? Sid. I can't remember his name. What's your name, bud? Sid. 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 Yeah. Um, I did say in my last video that the elephants I want for my island are probably going to be Chai and maybe Dizzy. Um, definitely Chai, and luckily I do have um, the Sanrio on me post, so I'll be inviting them at some point. But other than that, I don't see myself wanting any. I was debating whether or not to get, like, Tia. Um, but I've had Tia on my islands before, and although I like her, there's just other normal villagers I like more. Okay, Island 4. It's... Okay, speaking of more villagers, or speaking of more elephant villagers, it's Eloise. Speaking of Eloise, I finally started a Happy Home Paradise on this um, island. I am so not looking forward to having to redo all the houses, but I'm hoping to, like, do villagers that I didn't do previously so I can, like, do new prompts and stuff. So I'm probably... I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing it on my channel, like, if I'll be doing videos. I really just didn't do very many videos for my previous Happy Home Paradise playthrough. Um, I'm probably just going to, like, run through it. Anyway. Okay. X Island. Let's go. All right. We got Bamboo Island and... We got War Jr.? Yep, we got War Jr. <laughs> I actually really like War Jr. I know some people have like a love-hate relationship with him, but he's so cute and I love Crankies, so I love all the Crankies. He's, he's adorable. Um, not gonna take him today. If I was like on my last few tickets, then I would be like, you know what, let's just take him because he's a Cranky and he, like, at least I can get the emotion, the reactions and stuff from him for a while before we replace him, but no. We're only four tickets in, I think, right? Four. Five tickets in, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna chop down some bamboo. We do not have a DIY bottle on the island, so I will see you on island number six. All right, island number six, seven, six. I don't know how to keep count. Um, Tipper, no, we've had Tipper before. I did not mean to pick that, but I don't want her. Okay, island seven. I know we're only like one third of the way to the tickets, but I'm, I'm hopeful for this 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 uh, hunt. Okay, we got money rock, which is always something good to see. Um, but yeah, I'm like hopeful, you know? Okay, we got Sly, I think his name is. Yay, I was right. Okay, 
Um, I don't know. I just, we had such a good luck with Callie in the last villager hunt. Maybe that means my luck has run out and we're going to have a horrible hunt. But honestly, I'm like hopeful. Like, I don't know if this is going to go extremely well, but I have faith that even if we don't find one of the villagers on my list, that we'll at least be walking away with a good villager, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to grab the money click and we'll head off to the next island. And we got ourselves Bamboo Island again. Please be good luck. Oh, it's Kyle! Oh, I love him. Kyle, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, island number. I don't even know what island we're on. But that is the new monkey from the 2.0 update whose name is escaping right now, but we're not going to take him. I'm, I'm too lazy to go talk to him. I just, I want to go village hunting. Okay, let's see quickly if there is a DIY bottle on the beach. I've only found one so far, which is like, it was the straw coat. So it's not very helpful. Can you please have some DIYs? Your girl needs them. Okay, nothing. Nothing, apparently. All right, let's go on to the next island. Sorry, bro, not going to take you. Okay, so the day that I'm recording this is, um, God, what day is it today? May 7th. So I am going to be away on holiday from May 12th to the 19th. So I will be pre-recording a few videos, hopefully at least two or three, um, that I will be posting while I'm gone. But if I'm inactive or unable to respond to comments or anything, that is going to be why. But I am going away with my family and some friends. So I'm very excited about that. I just wanted to let you guys know in advance. But why do we keep running into alligators? Okay, this is Alfonso. I always say I love him when we run into him because he's just so cute. He's like the perfect lazy alligator. Like look at his chill vibe. Like, I don't know. He has chill vibes going on. Like he, he's so cute. <laughs> I hope I don't accidentally invite him. Sounds lovely. I just wanted to talk to you again. Okay, yeah. Anyway, so that's... I just wanted to update you guys on that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I haven't gone away, obviously, since COVID has started. And this is going to be my first time aboarding a plane since pre-COVID, which is, like, really nerve-wracking. But um, I'm triple vaccinated, so I am doing all the precautions and everything so hopefully it'll be a good fun time and i'm really excited just to get away for a week and just chill in the sun and read and relax so very much looking forward to that so anyway we're not going to take alfonso today back on track <laughs> but what i'm talking about but anyway we're not going to take him so let's head off to the next island i think we're about now one third of the way through the tickets i think we're on island number nine or ten let's see Okay, 11. Never mind. Um, Alright, we're one third of the way through the tickets. It's not looking too promising. Like, we run into a couple of nice villagers. Uh, and then we got Elise, I think her name is. I'm not the biggest fan of the monkeys. Like, there's a couple of cute ones. Elise, yeah. So when I woke up today, I... Today's my day off work. So I, like, went downstairs and I saw that it was, like... I don't know, 15 or 16 degrees here, which if you live in Ontario, you know just how horrible the weather has been lately. What is with all of the elephants today? Hi, Opal. Um, but yeah, the weather was actually really nice. It was very sunny. It kind of, we had like a cool breeze, but I spent like three hours outside reading on, uh, a chair in my backyard reading on the chair in my backyard yeah um just like chilling and reading and it felt so nice i tried to play a little bit of animal crossing too but it was so hot like the sun was coming down on my switch so like it was making my switch so hot that my switch sounded like a mac um computer when it's like overrun like you know like that really loud like fan and i thought my switch was gonna explode so i quickly put that inside um, which just answered the question of whether or not I should be bringing my Switch when I go away. I'm debating bringing it and just having it for, like, the plane ride. But, um, I've made the amazing decision of purchasing, like, I don't know, eight or nine books. And I have to somehow figure out which ones I'm going to be taking with me to read. I also just got a Kindle for my birthday. So I also will be bringing my Kindle. Basically, I'm just using my vacation as an excuse to do a lot of reading. Um, 
but yeah, it was so nice sitting outside and like I had a coffee and like it was kind of chilly like I was wearing a t-shirt, but like I was trying to get a little bit of sun on my on my arms, which I actually did, which is very shocking. Um Oop, I did not mean to press that. This is the second I don't pay attention to what um, I'm saying, Orville, I press the wrong buttons, even though I've done this like a million times. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to get like a little bit of set on my arms because I'm extremely pale. And when I go away, I'm going to be wearing like SPF 200 and try not to burn because I burn very easily. Um, so I was just trying to get a little bit of sun on my arms and hopefully I can do that again for the next few days when I don't have work Just sit outside in the sun because it's actually supposed to be like really nice where I live for the next few days Like if you live in like around Toronto, you see like the next few days are it's gonna be all sun, which is amazing And is not something that like you really see early May like it's supposed to go up to like the mid 20s. I think which is like Amazing, and then that, of course that's like right when I'm about to like leave to go away on vacation the weather starts to improve But hopefully it stays that way. So when I get back, it's not like freezing cold here Because the thing with April and May in Ontario is that the weather can change in like two seconds and we can have like eight degree weather or like, Freezing cold weather. Hi kid. I'm not inviting you. I'm sorry. I, I said hi to you twice it's weird, it didn't let me um, invite him the second time I talked to him. Sometimes that glitch, has anyone noticed? I mentioned that recently, like, not recently, but like in a video a couple months ago, but when I was villager hunting, that you now have to talk to the villagers sometimes like multiple times to get them to ask if they can move, like, or get the prompt for you to ask them to move on to your island, which like was not something that existed pre 2.0. So it's kind of annoying because one time I left a villager, I can't even remember what the villager was, because I couldn't get them to give me the prompt to ask them to move on to the island. So that's like really annoying. Like I guess like maybe like you can do like one or two, like if that was going to be a thing where like Nintendo would be like, oh, you have to ask them a few times like you would with um, having a campsite visitor move on to your island. But like it shouldn't take like 10 or more tries to get them to be like, oh, I wish I lived on an island like this. And then you can invite them, you know? All right, next island. Why do I have my <laughs> um, ladder out? And we got, oh God, it seems not chatter. What's... What's this mice's name? What's your name? What's your name? Limburg! They did a lot with that character design, didn't they? Okay, not gonna be taking him, so let's head off to the next island. Alright, island number, I think we're on like 13, 14, 15. Okay, island 15, officially halfway through the villager hunt, and we got a bird. I know his name, like Jay or something. But we also got, no, 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 um, maybe his name starts with an S, I think. What's your name? What's your name? Lucha! Oh god, I could not think of it. Lucha's pretty cute, though. <laughs> so it's currently, like, 419. We got Ken! Hey, Ken! Um, and <laughs> this is such a bad thing to say. I am, <laughs> so it's 419, and I'm thinking about what I'm having for dinner. Sorry, Ken, turn your ears <laughs> And I'm gonna get pulled chicken <laughs> tacos for dinner. Ken, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I feel so bad. This was so completely unplanned. Oh my god, this is hilarious. But anyway, I'm getting pulled chicken tacos for dinner, and oh my god, I'm so excited. I was gonna get them last night for dinner after work, and then I just didn't get a chance to, but they're from this place that's like near where I live. It just recently opened. And when I tell you that these are the best chicken taco. I'm not really a huge taco fan. Like, I like them a lot. Um, oh my god, DIY bottle. But these chicken tacos are phenomenal. Like, they are just, they're so good. If I, if I remember, I'll take a photo and insert it right here. But they're amazing. And they're, like, really filling. Like, you get two of them and they're pretty big. Um, it's a little expensive for them. Um, but, like, I think as, like, a treat every once in a while, it's definitely worth it. And it's, they're just so good. Um, I did not mean to do that. I was so busy talking, I didn't even see what I got as the DIY. What was the DIY? What I get? What I get? Okay, grass skirt. Awesome. So this is my, I have like a full outfit now. <laughs> That's all the DIYs I've gotten today. <laughs> 
All right, what island are we on? 18, 17, run 17. It's Portia? I think. I can never remember if that's her name. I think it's Portia. She's very cute. Yeah, Portia! She's a little Dalmatian. So because this is my first island post 2.0 update that I've restarted, I was like looking online a couple days ago, but like what the, what is that guy's name? Murphy? Um, I was looking online for like when you get certain things in the game, like when you get um, Harv's Island and when you get like the Happy Home Paradise, which I still didn't get an answer for. Like I just got Happy Home Paradise, but I didn't know what criteria I matched in order to get it. Um, but one thing I did see is that I was looking and I was like, what am I going to get Cap'n? And apparently you get Cap'n after you get three stars and KK Slider comes. So hopefully I'll have Cap'n in the next two days because I miss seeing him on my dock. Okay, I think we're on Island 19 now. Yep, okay. We almost have only one stack of tickets left. And it is... What's his name? Ro Robert? Ribot, Ribot, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember. Um, not taking him, um, doesn't fit my island theme, and we also already have Prince, even though he's not gonna be staying on the island, but yeah. Okay, no to him, let's head off to the next island. Okay, one stack of tickets left. Getting a little nervous, and it also looks like it's gonna rain. Please don't rain, let's finish this island, <laughs> this villager hunt before, who, oh, what is that? Oh, Bianca, we just saw you in the last hunt, too. What you doing here? She is so cute. I'm getting nervous. We have ten tickets left. Technically nine now after this one, so... Nope. Come on, please. I want to get this villager hunt done before it starts raining. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. Island 22 with a sh uh, sheep? Yeah, no, sorry. Okay, Island 23, Dom, no. Sorry, Dom, love ya, but no. Okay, 24, 24, 24, who is on Island 24? Is that Pearl? Oh, it's Pearl, no! Oh, I love her, but I, I have her amiibo so I can get her if I ever want her, and... I don't know, she's also a, she's a snooty, so maybe, maybe, hang on, okay, let me look for the DIY bottle, honestly, I'm getting really nervous, <laughs> um, of this villager hunt being a total flop, so I might just take her, I love Pearl, she's so cute, and I've always wanted her, she was on the maybe list for this island, like, I have, like, ten villagers that were, like, a maybe, and I love her, she's so cute. If I get her, she'll be the third cat on my island right now. <laughs> I already have cat and, um, uh, god, what's her name? Mary. Okay, I think I'm gonna take her because, honestly, we only have six tickets left. And I, I just, I can't, I can't justify keep going when I found, when I find her. She's just so cute! Look at her tail! She has all three colors on her tail. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, good choice. Good choice. She wasn't on the list, but she is insanely cute, and she is definitely a maybe for this island, so honestly, I could, like, have her and fall in love with her, and then she could be a permanent villager. So, okay, we're officially finished, and we managed to wrap up the villager hunt before it started raining, because I guarantee you the second that the clock had hit the next hour, it was going to rain, and I just I didn't feel like dealing with that, you know? All right, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. While we did not find a villager that was on the list, we did find a really cute villager, and I'm very excited to have Pearl join our island, even if it's only for a little while. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, as well as subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos I make. Hopefully, we've reached three stars. If not, I think we might need one more villager in order to reach that, but uh, I guess that means we're going to do more villager hunting. So I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!